Most connoisseurs are convinced that the best way of preparing salmon is Gravlax. To me, it's a nice alternative to smoked salmon. Gravlax is a national dish in Scandinavia. In the original method, the fish was seasoned with salt, sugar, and pepper, then covered with dill and buried in a hole in the ground for several weeks. Don't worry, we are not going to do that, so don't look for your shovel. Instead, let me show you how to prepare that great dish. To make gravlax, you will need a filet of fresh salmon, rock salt, sugar, black pepper, star anise, juniper berry, zest and juice of a lime, a lemon, and a grapefruit. I kept their skin, I may use it later on. Fresh dill, and then to finish the dish when the fish will have been cured for at least a day, we will use chopped fresh mint, chopped dill, and mustard. The mustard, of course, from Dijon. First of all, let's make the marinade. Mix the rock salt and sugar together. Add the citrus zest. So the zest of lemon, lime, and grapefruit. Mix well. Then grind the spices. Grind the peppercorn. Not too fine. Add it to the salt. Then ground the star anise. Add it to the salt too. And do the same for the juniper berries. Mix well. I wish you could smell at home the aromas of the star anise, the juniper berry, and the citrus zest being combined. It's fantastic, very fragrant. Chop the dill. So for the dill, you don't need to remove the stems. So I'm going to chop it up, up to here, okay? Add the chopped dill to the salt mixture. I kept some of the citrus skin, so I'm just going to uh, get some into my mixture. Just to use it up. So I'm using the skin of half of each citrus. Mix it up. Add the juices, so, but only half of it. So half of the lemon juice, half of the grapefruit juice, and half of the lime juice for now. Mix well. I left the seeds and the pulp because that will give extra flavor too. Don't bother with it. And it is time for us now to cure the fish. So I'm using a long deep platter. I'm going to put the 
rest of the juices on the bottom of the dish. Then I'm going to place my salmon over. If you find salmon with the skin, it's fine and it's preferable. So place it skin side down. If not, do as I do. Then add the mixture over the fish. So. Cover the fish with the marinade, the salt and the acidity from the, la the citrus will actually cook and dry the fish. So this is why it's called curing. Okay. So make sure everything is well covered. Wrap the fish with plastic wrap. Plastic. There you go. Perfect. Place some weight on the thickest part of the filet, at least. So I'm using this heavy platter because it's flat and that will press down the marinade into the fish on the center to cure it right to the heart. Then place the fish for one full day in your refrigerator. So here my salmon was about an inch thick. So I will cure it for one day. If you have a salmon thicker than that, because the filet was bigger, you may do a day and a half up to two days, but the average time is one day of curing. Our Gravlax has been marinating for 24 hours. Let's have a look. So remove the weights on the salmon. There is a lot of juice from the citrus, but also the juices from the salmon and the oils of the, of, the, of the fish. Now we are going to remove it and I'm going to do that over the sink and I'm going to wash it. Let's have a look. So, so I can feel that the, the fish has cured. It's harder. Then wash it under cold water. I'll dry the fish. But dry the fish by using some clean dry rags. Place the fish on a clean platter. The fish is dry. You will notice that on the tail side, the fish is actually cooked. That comes from the acidity of the citrus. But here, on the, on the thicker part, it's cured. It is time for us now to do the coating. For the coating, we're going to be using Dijon mustard, fresh mint, and fresh dill, the leaves only, that we are going to chop now. I have separated the leaves from the stems for the mint and the dill. It looks like a lot, about a good cup, cup and a half of fresh leaves, but when it will be finely chopped, it will end up to about six tablespoons of finely chopped herbs for each of them. I've been chopping for a while. I still have a little bit more chopping to do, and I'm going to show you a new technique. I'm going to show you how to chop lots of herbs or whatever you're doing with what we call the double blade technique. Um, to do so, you will need two chef knife of the identical size. 
okay? You don't want to have one bit longer than the other one. Okay, you place them side by side and you will place your left or your free hand on the top and you will go up and down. The key is to have the same knives. So here my herbs are finely chopped. Transfer the finely chopped herbs to a bowl. Add the Dijon. So about two tablespoons and a half. Maybe a little bit more here. So spread evenly on the filet. I didn't mention, but we are brushing the mid side. So mid side up, the skin side will be underneath, right? So will, the fish right now is mid side up or skin side down. Then coat the Dijon with the finely chopped herbs. So don't put too much at one spot. Try to uh, spread it also evenly. It would be okay to slice the fish and serve it right away. The only thing is it will be difficult to cut. This is why now we are going to go to step three and that would be the drying process. We are going to leave the salmon in the platter, in the fridge, uncovered, without plastic wrap, without anything on it, in order to dry out in the fridge. That will allow to make beautiful, nice slices tomorrow. Our Gravlax is ready. The, the coating has dried out. So now it's time to slice it. Use a slicer, which is like a fillet knife, but longer. So it's a bit soft and it's a thin blade, very sharp. Remember the tail side was in the juice, so it will be a little bit more cooked. So I want, if you want to make thin slices, you want to start a little bit upper. Present your grab legs. Oops. Serve the grab legs with a few lemon slices. Right. You may serve the Gravlax with sour cream on the side or crème fraîche with blinis or toasted sandwich bread. The whole salmon is edible. I want to show you the, how the salmon looks like. You remember how it was when it was raw? So this color and density because it's a bit dry, it's really typical to cured salmon gravlax. You see, it's dry, it's firm, and it's not soft anymore. And I, I point that because we really cured the fish. We didn't cook it, okay? So remember, this is very important. This is what you're looking for. The tail is the same. It's very nice. And if I try it. Mm. Oh boy, it's very nice. So the tail side is thinner, so it's a bit more salted, but on the center part of the salmon, it will be perfect. Bon appétit, salmon gravlax.